folks. I want you to know that I love every single one of you. No matter what happens, I love every single one of you. Even the ones who feel the urge to come and bash me and yet you have no content on your stuff. Yeah, I still love you anyway. Even the ones who come and say that nothing's going to happen, that uh, the Trump worshipers, that's what I call them. It's, it's kind of weird, don't y'all think? No man's going to save this country. We view the Old Testament. You can look at Sodom and Gomorrah for an example. And there's been people that found the remains of Sodom. And they really believe it's Sodom. If you haven't seen those videos, you have to go see them. I mean, it's wild. And the Bible is so very true that God left Sodom and Gomorrah in ruins as a reminder of what happens when people commit abominations and do the things that those two cities were doing and they don't repent. But nothing will happen to the U.S., right? Well, all the things we've read about in Sodom and Gomorrah, what makes the U.S. any different? Because there's Christians here? Was Lot and his family taken out before Sodom was destroyed? So why wouldn't Christians be taken out before this place is destroyed? You know, it's really crazy that people really can't see the truth because they don't want the truth. They love their lives here. That's how I really feel about it. A lot of these uh, post-tribbers and, and things like that. Why else would anyone want to be here so bad? They claim they're going to be working for the Lord, but yet they're not working for the Lord now. Instead of bringing people to Christ, they're out of here bashing other believers. Calling them names and just so... I can't even figure a word for it. And the nitpickers. Oh man, y'all. You know that people had different lives before they come to Christ? Not everybody was five years old and said a little prayer after a preacher? Yeah, some videos, you know, they'll see a tattoo or something and they're like, oh, you're going to go to hell. Really? Again, for the millionth time, y'all. My heart has stopped three times. I only saw hell once and that was in 2002. I didn't know the Lord. So many people don't believe in dreams and visions and that's, that's on them, y'all. I'm not a prophet. I'm nothing special. I'm just a man who loves the Lord. I've said that many times before. But in a lot of dreams, especially the rapture dreams, the Lord has showed me when I look down at my arms and there's not a one tattoo on there. This is the flesh. They're not going to be marked on your soul. I haven't got a not a one tattoo since 2014. And I've done told the story about when my son died in 2013 that I fell off for a while I did I truly did I fell away for a while they never blamed the Lord never cursed the Lord or none of that I just couldn't handle it, it was it was it was rough on me and I know there's so many people out here with that Nicolaitan spirit sin as much as you want to do whatever you want to because Jesus paid for it all Jesus said he hates the Nicolaitans. You read that in Revelation. Yeah, we're going to fall. We're going to slip. We're human. How amazing is God, y'all? All these make America great again people out here. I call them the Trump worshipers. It's insane that people can't see the truth. Jesus is coming so very soon. I don't ever try to come here and make people fear. I've had people call me fear monger and things like that. That's not, that's not what I'm doing. I'm warning. If someone's in fear, that's on them. It truly is. I can't force anybody to hear or listen to me or anything like that. I can't force anybody to read their Bibles. All I can tell y'all is, don't listen to man. Read your Bibles. Then you'll be well aware of what's happening. And it is plain to see, no matter what anybody comes here and says, or what nobody uh, types, 
15 mile long messages or any of that. It doesn't matter. Jesus is coming very, very soon for the church. It's plain in scripture. Anybody could read it for themselves. But when one leans on their own understanding, they're not going to understand it the way God intended it to be because they're not reading with the spirit. They're reading with their own understanding. And that's a big problem in the church today. Keep looking up, church. I know these are miserable times, and it's hard to smile for a lot of us. But Titus 2.13, we're waiting on that blessed hope. That's something to smile about. Romans 10.9-13, through 13, I truly love every single one of you. God bless. The Trump is the best thing happened ever to us. Huh? That he is the magician of the highest order. That he is there in his irrational mind to create confusion in order that the human being can find new order. And you know it's not so stupid thinking about this in that way. It's completely turning things upside down. Say if, they, say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love us. All who oppose, all... Today you're gone Today you left me You left me for heaven on my knees crying and begging please let me be dreaming please let me be dreaming young beautiful boy making his way up to the golden doors you, baby.